<laughs> oh, thank you for joining me in today's special edition of The Joy of Painting. I'm Bruce Lipton, and today we're going to do something very special. Instead of our typical exterior landscape paintings, today we're going to go inside the body where you have 50 trillion happy cells, cells that give you joy and pleasure. And so we're going to do an interior landscape. And to show you these happy cells, we need our special paint today. And so we're going to use nucleus red, cytoplasmic blue, mitochondrial green, and a special membrane orange. So let's just jump right in and show one of these very happy cells. Well, let's go right into our cell right now. And I'll start with some cytoplasm and nucleus color. And here we go. Oh, look how happy this cell is. And see how pretty, oh look, see the red? That's the nucleus. We used to think the nucleus was the brain of the cell, <laughs> but it's not. It's just the reproductive organ. A nucleus is a gonad for a cell. So to really show you some of the happy things that make up our cell, I'm going to use some cytoplasmic blue to enhance all the wonderful things inside our happy cell. <gasps> Look, we have endoplasmic reticulum. We have the Golgi and mitochondria in here. How happy. This is a wonderful cell. It probably looks just like the cell in your happy body right now. But to really show you something that I'm so interested in, it's the cell membrane, the skin of the cell. I'm gonna use membrane orange and put it in the cell. And here you can see all around the outside of the cell is the membrane. I like this part, cleaning with paint thinner. But then I love to beat the devil out of it. Did you like that? I'll do it again because we all like that. Beat the devil out. And what you can see here as we paint the membrane, it's made out of molecules called phospholipids that look like little lollipops with two sticks on them. And there's a row of phospholipids, but you know there's a second row right underneath. It's like a mirror image. And so there are two rows of phospholipids. It's called a bilayer. But you know what else? Inside the middle of the membrane where the lipid legs are, that's a barrier because it doesn't let things from the environment actually go into the cell. So the membrane by definition is a non-conductor. But now we want to add some molecules. So let's get some protein paints. And here's the first molecule we want to add. It's called a receptor. It's like your eyes and ears and nose, but for the cell, it's how the cell sees the world. And it has a little antenna on it to read the environment. But in addition to the receptor, here's a second molecule. It's called a channel. Normally it's closed, but when the receptor receives a signal, the channel opens up and makes a pore in the membrane that signal information can come from the outside and go into the cell. Well, this information is so important because this is the information that controls the behavior. So let's define the membrane again. It's not a non-conductor because the channel lets some things in. So it's not a non-conductor, but it's not a full conductor. The membrane is a semiconductor. And the receptor is like a gate. It opens the doorway to the cell. So instead of saying receptor, I could use the word gate. So now let's define the membrane as we just saw it. And the happy membrane is a crystal semiconductor with gates and channels. <gasps> How wonderful, did you know that's the exact same definition of a computer chip? Well, the membrane is not like a computer chip. The membrane is a computer chip. The cell is a programmable chip. I say, how does it work? I say, the brain sends signals to the cell that are picked up by the receptor, and the receptor opens a channel, and the channel sends a signal in that engages the behavior, and the signal can go into the nucleus and activate one of the DNA programs. The most important part about it is that this chip can not only just activate a DNA program, it can rewrite it. So you can change the expression of your DNA genes. So the cell is a programmable chip and it's programmed by the vision coming from your mind. Is it a happy vision or are you afraid or sad? 
it makes a difference because whatever picture is in your mind is going to send signals to that programmable cell and create a happy cell or a sick cell. And it's really based on you because you're the artist in this case. You are creating the cells of your body.